All right, let's move on to the next page. So we have the situation of, you know what, I'm sorry, I need to apologize for this. I gave you guys the wrong number. So if you're looking at this, it needs to be 9 newtons, and I'll put that note in the web page. So um, we're pushing a box with 9 newtons. We need it to move at constant velocity. We want to know the force of gravity on the box. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So free body diagram, normal, weight, force applied, and force of friction. Now, because the forces are balanced, that means the net force in the y direction is zero, and the net force in the x direction is zero. And we know that we're pushing with 9 newtons to move at constant velocity. That's how we know the forces are balanced. So what that tells us is that the applied force equals the kinetic friction. And since the applied force is 9, um, that means the, uh, yeah, basically this is the horizontal floor, so that and that Applied force, kinetic friction equals 9. Um, so that's one part of the problem, but that's not what they asked. They want us to know the force of gravity in the box. Well, the force of gravity, we're going to use the other equation. Normal equals weight. Normal equals um, 3 point, sorry, equals 2 times 9.8, which is going to give me 19.6 newtons. So basically what I've done is I've solved for every single force in this problem. I know that the weight is 19.6. I know that the normal, therefore, has to balance that, and those are newtons. I know that the applied force is 9 newtons, and I know that the friction force is 9 newtons. So I've just gone ahead and solved for every single force in this problem. When I do that, I get the force of gravity, which is the same as the weight. Remember that from a previous page. So I'm going to end up getting a weight of 2 kilograms times uh, 9.8. It's about 19.6, which is about 20. Now we want to know the force of kinetic friction acting on the box, and that's going to be 9 newtons from our picture. Now, number 15, we want to actually solve a problem with two wires, like this. And this is where we have to be very careful when we draw our free body diagram. So I've got the weight, I've got a tension here, and a tension here, and I'm going to treat them as uh, two separate tensions because that's what they are. Now, this is step one in our forces approach to problems. And I know the force is balanced because the chandelier is still. So what that means is forces in the x sum to 0 and forces in the y sum to 0. So here it goes. Um, in the x direction, I know that I have this uh, tension here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and split it into two pieces. And in fact, what I want to do is I'm going to actually solve this problem on a separate page. So here we go. So here's the idea. Let me just draw a big free body diagram. Tension, tension, and weight. 25 degrees, 25 degrees. Excellent. Now what I want to do is I want to split this into x and y components. So I have ty is going to be equal to t sine of 25. And t of x equals t cosine of 25. Same in this direction. I have to split up this left tension into two. So I have tx equals t cos 25, and ty equals t times the sine of 25. So now here's what's going to happen, and I have the weight pointing down here. So now I need to balance forces in every direction. I'll call this force 1, force 2, and force 3 in the y direction. So in the y direction, I know that I have ty plus ty minus weight balance out. That's force 1, force 2, and force 3. I just wanted to label those. And then in the x direction, I have tx equals tx. True, but useless. It doesn't help us solve anything. So let me try to use this equation to get the answer to the question. So I'm going to have t sine 25 plus t sine 25 equals the weight, which is 36 kilograms times 9.8. So when I go ahead and solve this, I'm actually going to end up getting, I'll write it down here, 2t sine 25 equals 36 times 9.8. And that's going to give me 352.8 newtons. And now I need to isolate the letter t. When I isolate it, the answer that I actually get for the force is going to be 417 newtons which is choice D.